Lord. Lord, we pray and we welcome you to be enthroned in our praises. Father, here I am to worship. Here I am to bow. Lord Jesus, I pray that your Holy Spirit, Lord, will reign in that place, will fill the entire house with your presence, with your glory. And Lord, we will be able to experience you tangibly, Lord, today. And I pray and I release, Lord, in the atmosphere, Lord, a change, a heavenly atmosphere. Let it invade our houses in the name of Jesus Christ. We give this English service to your hands in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. Join with us in singing uh, praises to our Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We all are chosen by the God. Amen. Amen. We are the generation who is going to bring down, bring down revival. Amen. Amen. How many of you believe that? We are going to sing. We are We are 
are a chosen generation We've been called for to show His excellence All I require for life God has given me And I know who I am We are a chosen generation We've been called for to show His excellence All I require for life God has given me Amen. For he reigns for ever. Amen. Blessed be your name in the land that is plentiful, where streams of abundance flow. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name in the land that is plentiful. Where streams of abundance flow, blessed be your name. Amen. We're gonna sing it once more. I think, I hope all of you know this song. Blessed be your name in the land that is plentiful. Where streams of abundance flow, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name in the land that is plentiful. Where streams of abundance flow, blessed be your name. And we thank you for our life, turn back to praise. When the cloud comes close.
We're going to sing one more song and we're going to praise the Lord. Amen. There's something inside of me that knows I'm more than flesh and bones. Something inside of me knows there is surely more than this. Echoes of eternity all around us. This music within my soul, I'm more than a flesh and bones, I know. Whispers of my destiny deep inside us. are beating for Christ. Amen. Uh, wherever you are, if you can stand up or if you can kneel down and if you can just turn your entire attention towards Jesus and just raise your hands uh, along with your family and praise Jesus. We are going to sing to our King. We are going to sing to our God. And you know, today is uh, Palm Sunday and uh, the, 
on the first palm sunday when jesus entered jerusalem they hailed and shouted praises to him so calling him king of israel and blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord and today we are going to do exactly that with our praises we are going to welcome the king of kings and the lord of lords our jesus christ amen majesty
attention your focus on Jesus and sing as we are singing Lord I give you my heart I give you my soul and I live for you alone every breath that I take every moment I'm alive Lord have your way in me can we just sing Lord have your way in us have your way in our houses have your way in our country Lord Jesus Jesus have your way in our country have your way in our lives Lord Lord, I give you my heart, I give you my soul, I live for you alone, every breath that I take, every moment I'm awake, Lord, have we give this time into your hands Lord Lord we commit our lives to you Jesus we commit our mind soul and body into your hands Lord Father Lord talk to us from your word Lord let your word come forth powerfully like a double-edged sword Lord let it divide Lord bone and marrow and soul and spirit Lord Jesus in this time Lord speak to us and revive us and transform us with your word Lord Jesus I praise you I worship you we bow before you we declare you to be our King Lord Jesus we declare you our God and our master and our Savior and we bow before you and we give you the due reverence Lord Jesus we give you all the glory honor and praise in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior we pray Amen Amen thank you um, can you keep playing Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And today, um, it's Palm Sunday and uh, it's a very exciting time. And uh, this Sunday, usually, you know, we are all uh, having palm branches and we are singing Hosanna and we are celebrating. And we, we are still celebrating in our houses and the Lord is, the Lord is amidst us. Amen. I know that you believe us. Uh, you, you believe this. You believe that the Lord is in the midst of us. Uh, because his word says that uh, the Lord told, promised in his word that he will be our God and we will be his people and that he will live among us and he will dwell among us. And how beautiful is it, isn't it, that God, the creator of the heaven and earth is dwelling among us. You know, uh, we might not be able to gather uh, as thousands and hundreds of people together in churches, but the church is the body of Christ. Amen. And we are all part of his body wherever we are. And we are connected. We are one in the spirit. He has made us one in him. Amen. And it is such a joy to come and speak the word of God, you know, with you. And spend this time with you. And I am really delighted and I am so excited about this word that the Lord has given me. And this was in my heart to speak to you. Uh, how uh, we need to worship God. And the title of my message is Undivided Devotion undivided devotion to the Lord and uh, since it is Palm Sunday I really uh, wanted to go back to that uh, to the first Palm Sunday that the Israelites celebrated can we open our Bibles I'm sure you're all having your Bibles in front of you and you're all reading you're reading along with me can we open to Matthew 21 and you can follow me as I read uh, I, I'm quickly gonna read from verses 1 and uh, till 11th verse and we are going to see a little bit from Luke and we are going to see how to worship Jesus amen how to worship Jesus and how to give him undivided devotion how God expects of us to give an undivided devotion to him amen uh, if you are seated with your whole family you can look at your neighbor and say uh, God is expecting undivided devotion. I mean, those who are seated here, there are very few of us here. And uh, you can tell your 
neighbor Bula can tell uh, Martina Brighton can tell my mom uh, thank you so much for worship team for Satish for Abhi for Brighton Creswell uh, all of these people have been coming reg- uh, coming and helping out in these times uh, God will really bless and I know so many of you you really want to come your heart is here I really know that and I feel that and I'm getting a lot of messages and people are waiting to get back together. I'm sure the days are very soon. Amen. And I thank you so much. And we'll read from Matthew 21st, 21st chapter from verses 1. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her colt untie them and bring them to me if anyone says anything to you say that the Lord needs them and he will send them right away this took took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet say to daughter Zion see your king comes to you gentle and riding on a donkey on a colt the fowl of a donkey the disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed instructed them they brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to, to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Then Jesus entered Jerusalem. The whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus the prophet from Nazareth. The story we all know. And after this, after Jesus, I'm sorry, excuse me. After Jesus enters Jerusalem, he goes to the temple and he drives out people who are doing business there. See, the moment he entered, it was a very beautiful scene they are all shouting praises to Jesus and they are spreading their cloaks in front of them they are taking out their you know their coats and they are spreading on the floor so that Jesus can come and uh, we are doing the same thing when we are worshiping what are we doing we are welcoming him we are making a highway for the Lord to come the Bible says make a highway in the wilderness where there is dry we fill the place with praises so that we welcome our king and our god we welcome him we welcome him with our praises and that's what the people are doing they are they are doing an act of worship they are spreading their cloaks they are cutting palm branches and they are putting down and they are welcoming their king but as their king the king of israel the king of the world the king of kings and the lord of lords as he's entering jerusalem the verse says that Jerusalem was stirred. Jerusalem was, you know, uh, it went into a turmoil. People were confused. They didn't know who they were shouting for. And people are asking, whom are you shouting for? And the people, uh, those who an- answered them also, they said that uh, this is Jesus of Galilee, the prophet. But Jesus is the Lord. He was their Messiah. He is our Messiah. He is our Savior. He is the King of the world. He is King of kings and Lord of lords. He is the Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. The first and the last. Uh, Through Him, everything is sustained. In Him, all things hold together. That's what the Bible says. And they did not understand who He was. And so, their hearts within them was divided. And I, I think... Uh, if you are following me and if you know the story you know this very same crowd that shouted and welcomed him into Jerusalem it says the people of Jerusalem the people of Israel a couple of chapters later they shout crucify him after some time in uh, the next week within seven days okay within five days the entire the hearts of the people was completely changed they were they were shouting something else sometime back and suddenly they were completely changed they were not focused on who God was who Jesus was to them they had no knowledge of who Jesus was and because of that their hearts were divided within them they didn't they were they were swayed like a reed they uh, if a crowd shouted this they went along with the crowd and they shouted you know hail Jesus if the crowd shouted 
uh, crucify him they they also shouted crucify him they were not focused they they didn't know they were not determined in their minds as to what they wanted to do uh, their minds were swayed and they were not one in their thinking and god wants us to be one with him the bible says be holy as your lord your god is holy and this word holy means one the the word holy means one bible says god is one amen he is not distracted by so many options even though he gives us many options he knows what he wants to do he is the best decision maker he makes the best plan, plans and uh, he is not swayed by people's emotions or uh, he is not distracted he is not thinking okay what should i do today i feel like doing this but should i do this he is not like that he is very focused in in the things that he is doing even before the foundation of the world he called you he knew that he wanted you he had plans very clear plans plans to prosper you plans to give you a future and hope good plans the bible says so he had everything written down like i'm saying written down because bible says in psalms that the plans uh, for us has been written down in his book amen so he was very clear in what he wanted uh, i'm asking you the same question are we clear in what we want today bible says be holy as your lord your god is holy what it means be single minded meaning uh, in your thinking don't be divided amen and god uh, says of us jesus says uh, the bible says in uh, isaiah 43 verses 21 it says this people i have made for myself who will bring my praises amen we are the people god chose out of the world to sing his praises and it was the same for israel these people who sang his praises uh, on the very first palm sunday they were also chosen by god in exodus uh, 19 uh, i'll open the verse in exodus the book of exodus 19 and verse 6 when god is speaking to moses he says about the house of israel he says about the nation of israel he says you will be for me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation these were the words you are to speak to, the, to israel jesus the lord our father he chose israel out of the world for himself his treasured possession another uh, translation of this verse says they will be mine out of the world they will be my possession they will be a people for myself they will carry my name and today god says this about us he says that we are a chosen generation a royal priesthood a nation that is set apart who carries his name and who will sing praises for us this verse is in uh, is in 1 Peter 2:9 we all know this verse we keep telling this verse i think we you all tell this verse i one of my favorite verses it says but you are a chosen peace people a royal priesthood a holy nation a people belonging to god and what does this people what does this nation do according to that verse it says that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light amen see even when he chose israel when god chose israel in exodus while they while they were in the desert he set them apart so that they will carry his name and they will be the people who will showcase who god is to the world and today when god calls us as we carry his name we are the ones who declare his praises amen you you know you when you go stand in front of the mirror you go talk to yourself and say uh, if if i'm speaking i will say jayana you've been chosen and set apart for god you know god set you apart so that you will sing his praises what a privilege right and israel had that privilege even from the beginning we see abraham was set apart 
uh, God called Abraham out of his family uh, his father Thera he was there but God called Abraham and he said leave your family leave your father's household and come after me and Abraham leaves everything and when we leave something when we sacrifice the world and when we come after God we answer the calling of being chosen to God the bible says so many are called but few are chosen how is that god is calling us today god is calling us to worship him to sing his praises to have our complete devotion towards him but when we answer the call of god by saying lord i will sacrifice the world i don't want the world or its regulations and or its pattern i'm not going to confine to the pattern of this world and when i make that decision i become a chosen person amen so when israel was called in exodus 19 they were really scared they got terrified of god there and they said oh my gosh moses we don't want god speaking to us we what does the word priests mean a priest ministers directly to the lord and god called them to be priests to him directly but israel rejected him israel in their hearts they were divided the bible says that because their hearts was inclining towards egypt and in their hearts they were always going back to egypt and they were not devoted in their attention towards god they were not com- they were not worshiping god wholeheartedly and so they rejected god and you know this verse that says you will be for me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation god repeats that this verse is repeated again in the bible it is repeated in isaiah it is repeated in isaiah and again there the lord says that this people are a kingdom of priests a chosen generation for myself i will read that verse now see isaiah 61:6 says but you will be called again even in exodus and in isaiah we see that it's a futuristic word it it says you will be it's not say it does not say you are uh, and there god is giving a call to respond to him will you be that you will be you will be but the, when we are willing we will be chosen as his people and there it says you will be a people you will be called the priests of the lord you will be spoken of as ministers of our lord and you will eat the wealth of the nations and in their riches you will boast and I, and the again and again this bible verse is repeated but it is fulfilled in christ those who reply those who respond to the call of god and in peter when the same verse is repeated it says it says you are you are meaning in the present in the present day not a future promise but you are a chosen generation in christ amen and uh, and this chosen generation this people who are set apart for the lord will sing his praises amen and what does it mean to sing praises to god um like we saw in matthew 21st chapter the crowd was divided the crowd one day they shouted uh you know hosanna to the son of david and in a week's time they said they shouted crucify him um i can prove this from the word you know even in uh, acts we see that uh, gamaliel when he is speaking in the sanhedrin he is saying one time one person rose up and he led a revolt and people went after him another time someone else came up and people went after him and another time someone else led and people went after him what is he trying to say say this this crowd was swayed whoever they 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 were not stable they were not stable who some if someone raised up and said something they just shook their heads and went after him but we are not a people who are swayed by the world amen we have the word of god that is living in us and when we have the word of the lord living in us uh we need to completely be like jesus towards the father this verse we'll go back to this verse uh, 
1 Peter 2 9 it says but you are a chosen people a royal priesthood a holy nation a chosen people belonging to God and i want to just focus on uh, this one word a royal priesthood a royal priesthood you know uh, why i am taking this particular word is because i want to take the example of jesus christ jesus christ is the best example that we have to live as christians because we are becoming like christ how will we become like christ if we see someone else let us look to jesus and we will see his pattern and we will follow him the bible says be imitators of christ so we will look what kind of a priest jesus was okay we i want to just share from john 17 what kind of a priest jesus was the bible says in hebrews that he is the highest priest in the order of melchizedek and how does jesus fulfill his priestly duties he uh, apart from you know his crucifixion and uh, redeeming us through his blood apart from all those things while he lived on earth he says these things about himself lord i have finished the work for which you called me god has called us for a particular reason he says this people i have chosen for myself will declare my praises will declare my praises and that is a, there's a particular reason to why god has called us and the same reason uh, there was a reason why god sent jesus to the world and jesus replies saying father i have completed the work you have given me uh, in john 17th chapter and then again in that word he says i have brought you glory on earth by finishing the work you gave me to do verse i'm reading john chapter 14 verse 4 and again he says i have declared your name to my brothers see this is the work when we declare his name when we bring glory to god on earth we finish his work when we declare his praises on earth we finish or we fulfill the purpose of god put in our life amen and jesus here in chapter 14 says i have revealed you to those whom you gave me out of the world jesus came to this world and he walked among men and he was in jerusalem he was in israel he walked in galilee he went to he was he lived in nazareth uh, in his early uh, years he was in egypt and out of egypt god called him and he mo- walked so many places but not everyone followed him you know because this verse says i have revealed you to those whom you gave me out of this world all those people who are ready to reject the world and follow him only became his disciples amen amen are we ready to reject the world and follow him we can sing praises to him you know the people in jerusalem on the first palm sunday they shouted praises but they were not his disciples they they did not forsake the world but when we forsake the world we forsake the world the bible says in uh, proverbs 53 trust in the lord with all your heart don't be divided you know in trusting god don't trust don't put some trust on your money don't put some of your trust on your friends don't put some of your trust on your family don't put don't divide your trust but all of the money the family the relationships that god has given you let it be within christ bring it under the reign the kingship of jesus amen trust in the lord and lean not on your own understanding in all of your ways acknowledge him i really like that word in all of your ways acknowledge him what does it mean to worship to acknowledge him with everything we have is true worship to have undivided devotion towards him is true worship see the bible says you will seek me and you, you will seek the bible does not say you will seek me and you will find me no the bible says you will seek me and when you seek me diligently and when you seek me with all your heart you will find me so most of us i think even i have made that mistake when we are searching and when we are seeking god 
we are not seeking with all our hearts and then we are confused lord where are you but the bible verse says seek me and when you seek me with all your heart when you seek me diligently there are these are two different verses you shall find me and today we will uh, let our worship be undivided to god let our let our praises to him be undivided let our full focus be on jesus because that is the kind of worship that he he really likes he says worship the lord in spirit and in truth when you worship him worship him truly fully with your full vigor with your full heart with your full mind and your full body and energy and soul and sing his praises because he has redeemed us you know even when we were in the dark in darkness in sin god sent his only begotten son and he saved us believe in him with an undivided heart amen let us be one in our heart to god you know let us be one in our devotion to god and i'm telling you this this is the conclusion this is the beauty of this message jesus is going to come jesus is coming back whether the world likes it or not he's going to come back he's going to come back and he's first he's going to call his church the bible says that he will call his church his bride will be taken up yeah uh, imagine if there is there are uh, a husband and wife they go to the restaurant uh, they go to a restaurant and then suddenly uh, one but probably a boyfriend of the wife from you know the past comes and sits down and there are so many other friends of hers they are coming and sitting down with her and uh, the husband is like uh, what what's happening and she's like uh, you know what they are all my friends uh, uh, i spent i need to spend time with all of them you are one of the favorites you are my favorite among them it is not right i don't think anybody will want to marry such a girl correct you know who likes so many people and who considers you special among them that is not right and in the same way the church that is the bride of the christ if we like so many people it won't be nice if we like the world and the things of the world it is not nice god is not going to come for a bride who's uh, you know who's liking is divided but he's going to come for a bride that is fully focused on him amen correct am i right that is true and today we will give our undivided devotion to god okay and he is going to come as the king of kings and the lord of lords and all the i all the eyes on the earth all the eyes on earth are going to see him and that's what the bible says but we will come with him in glory amen and we who serve him wholeheartedly we will be taken up with him amen and today on this palm sunday i encourage you when you worship the lord you know i know it is easy to sing his praises in churches opening our eyes and looking around but sometimes we say close your eyes because when we close our eyes we can just focus on jesus even in your houses you know uh, make this a practice to spend time with god and sing to him sing to him new songs and adore him and praise him and you know say to him who he is to you with your personal experience have a personal relationship with him yearn for him and go after his heart and seek him wholeheartedly and you will find him when you seek him with your whole heart you will definitely find him and to go after him wholeheartedly is true worship amen to fear god and shun evil is worship to fear god and preach the gospel is worship to fear god and save a soul is worship to fear god and spend time with him is worship amen so let us go after him wholeheartedly and we can just uh, praise we can praise and we can say lord i give you my heart and i give you my soul i live for you alone every breath that i take and every moment i'm awake lord have your way in me amen thank you jesus lord i give you my heart i give you my soul i live for you alone every breath that i take every moment i
your hands up and sing. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my our ways to you. Jesus, we surrender to your Lordship. Holy Spirit, in our everyday walk, Lord, we pray that you will have your way and you will guide us to be just like Jesus. You will guide us to shun sin, Lord Jesus. You will guide us to say no to the things of the world and always say yes to you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, we commit our ways to you. The, your verse says that you protect our foot from slipping. Lord, you protect us. You, you protect us from the flowerless snare. Lord, we pray that you will protect us. You've called us out of this world and help us to be, to live like Christ in this world, Father. Holy and presentable without blemish because we've been washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Help us, Lord, today to be fully devoted to you in our heart, to serve you wholeheartedly, to worship you wholeheartedly with our entire mind, soul and heart and emotions and our body. To worship you, to seek your face wholeheartedly and diligently and find you, Father. Lord, I pray for each and every person who is watching this live, Master, that your hand will be upon them. Lord, in their houses, Lord, Father, let your presence cover them. Lord, I sprinkle the blood of Jesus Christ, the sacrifice lamp on their doorpost, Lord Master. I pray that no, I declare that no plague, no evil shall befall you. You have sent your angels to protect us, Lord Master, and I thank you for that. Lord, nothing of this world, Lord, nothing that is spoiling the world, the coronavirus or whatever it is, Lord Master, Lord, uh, in every way, you will protect us and you will provide us and you will always keep us in your Napier's hands, Lord Master. I pray blessings upon blessings, Lord. I pray that blessings, goodness and mercy will overtake them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I bless them abundantly, Lord Jesus. Let your word transform us. And again, Lord, I request you, humbly ask you, that you will pour out within our hearts a thirst to seek and come after you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Father. And we give all of this. We adore you, Jesus. We adore you, our Father God. We give all our praises and honor to you. Reign in us. Have your way in us. Let your kingdom come and let your will be done on our, on our life, on this earth, as it is done in heaven, Lord Jesus. We give you all the glory and honor and praise in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I pray. And even in your houses, if you are prepared to partake in communion in the body of Christ and the blood of Christ in the, in the new covenant blood just it is such a joy to partake in the body of Christ along with you today Jesus and we do this in remembrance of Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let's remember Jesus and give thanks to him for all that he has done for us on the cross of Calvary. He is such a good God. He gave his life for us and he has opened this new way of living in his blood. Thank you, Jesus. This is the body that was broken for you. This cup is the blood of Jesus. The cup of the new covenant in the blood of Jesus. When we partake in it, partake by remembering what Christ did for you.
thank you jesus i pray that heavens will be open for you and every new covenant blessings you will receive in the name of jesus christ shantune mere bhi kaha na mara bhi na maa i pray that goodness and mercy will follow you heaven's blessings will overtake you and fill you in the name of jesus christ because the life of christ flows in you jesus i thank you for the blood you spilt for us on the cross of calvary and i thank you for the body that was broken for us thank you because you have made us partakers in the new covenant along with you i will give you all the glory and honor amen amen thank you and if you want to uh, give your offerings please you know the gpay number 955129811129581291 955129811 you can give your offerings to uh, you will see this number on screen and to 98 9281313808 and the account number please give your offerings to the lord and god will open up his treasure house and he will definitely bless you uh, thank you so much i will meet you next week it is uh, we pray for our country these days use this this time very well and wisely and pray prepare for the coming revival in the name of jesus christ i bless you and i will see you soon thank you